signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search into the nearby community of Chinatown will unearth new leads. Hello, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre players. I'm John D. Vlad, your builder. Today, we are going to check best survivor with best perks. In my opinion, Leland is the best survivor because of his unique skill and we can make a lot of gameplays with that as well. Also, I'm gonna show you two different builds. So, before the perks and builds, I want to show you some strong spots so you guys can use this against Leatherface in the beginning of the game. There is almost no way you die in these spots. In my lobbies, I see people like 50, 60 level, but still they are not using these spots. They are just passing away and going straight. That doesn't make any sense, guys. Just stay in here and make the gameplay easy. Leatherface will leave you soon. Especially in the beginning of the game, if you do this, Leatherface will waste a lot of time. In this time, your friends or teammates can unlock the doors or gates or fuse box, whatever. This move will give you a lot of advantage to your team. Survivors are very strong in basement and Leatherface is not strong in basements. So, the first spot was from the gas station map and the second one from family house and the third also fourth from the slaughterhouse map and we can find many spots like this in different locations in same maps. If everyone's still alive, don't jump to the basement from the top as soon as you saw a killer let him or her to chase you for wasting time also in the beginning of the game leatherface will try to break some spots like this so you guys can counter this with sneaky attacks this will be a little bit risky move but if you can handle this will be a crazy advantage as well for your teammates cause he definitely need to break these spots especially next to basement exits so you guys can use all these things alright guys he is wasting more than 40 seconds only in these two spots and if you have a Connie in your team she can easily escape from the basement in this time even she can open a gate door with her unique skill as well so it is time to check builds and perks all right guys now we are going to check our perks and i want to clear with you something in this game 100% the most important thing is stamina so our perk combination is increasing our survivor abilities and focusing on escaping so for the first perk we have conditioned from the endurance in level 3 when you completely run out of stamina it takes 60% less time to start regenerating here is a great example why stamina is the most important thing in this game cause if I don't have enough endurance like most of the people and survivor gonna die here maybe instead of Leland I don't think the other survivors can survive in this situation because I'm going to use my unique skill to Leatherface 
and in all these things I can still survive cause of my unique skill and stamina. For the second perk we have again from Endurance Fight and Flight. So in level 3 choose both. After surviving a close encounter movement speed is increased by 10% and stamina consumption is reduced by 30% for 15 seconds. So guys after stamina the most important thing is for both sides is speed. I know many people using this one instead of mine but with this one you have only three charges and I don't think you can handle with my CC build as well. I mean if killers have scout perk they will move faster than you and eventually they will catch you easy like my CC. Here is a great example of this perk but first I want to clear with you something about encounters and this is very important so I'm always starting the encounters first that means I don't want to let them to killers hit me free also I'm not gonna lose any HP as well and when I do this I always have like at least 50% stamina as well after that I can use my stamina and my movement speed and I can make a big gap between me and killer so that's why this perk absolutely crazy guys I was trying to bait this guy to follow me but he came from the shortcut he didn't follow me and I came from the opposite way but we are still in same position but trust me guys this perk will save you in very critical positions or stations that's why you definitely need this perk because of our movement speed we can make a big gap between killer and us after that we can hide or whatever we want they will lost our tracks guys definitely also when I use my encounters in the basement after that I'm just using my advantage boost to reach top as soon as possible and it cost me like 7-8 seconds maximum still killers searching me on basement as well all right let's check the last perk and we have what doesn't kill you so in level 3 after being injured by a melee attack avoiding additional damage for 15 seconds will reward you with 100 percent of the health you lost in the beginning of the game i'm generally playing against leatherface and i'm doing some risky moves if I lost any HP there, I don't want to waste time. I just taking my health back immediately, especially in the late game when the health bottles is over. This perk will save you as well. And here is a great example for this perk. I'm doing a mistake and I get hit and I lost my almost like 80% 70% of my health but in 50 seconds I'm gonna be full HP again before the skill tree and the attributes I just want to say you a couple things as well so we can change this one if you are really beginner in the game like if you just start to the game you guys can take this one instead of this one and no cell will protect you from leather face like I said especially if you are beginner but my pick will be Taekwondo definitely if you are aggressive player and if you want to play aggressive you guys can change with Taekwondo as well 
And this perk is completely crazy because slamming doors on family members will stun the target for 16 seconds. This is a S tire perk guys, definitely. All right. Lastly, if you are really experienced and good player, you guys can change conditioned to agitator and this will reduce to grandpa level four. This is the best perk for survivors and we can find all these perks in one skill tree. Let's check the skill tree guys. So we are going to the left and we have conditioned here. So you guys need to take that from question mark. So until you get that, you guys need to try again and try again. So after that, we are going like this way. We have fight and flight here. Take one door is here and choose flight came from the question mark again as well. And finally, we have what doesn't kill you right here and the agitator is right here. So if you are really experienced player, you guys can go to the right and take agitator. But if you guys wanna take the what doesn't kill you, just go to the left. Also, this was not a clean perfect skill tree as well because I got this one from the question mark and there are three question marks in my way so I think we can take better than the, this one as well and for the attributes we have 17 to the toughness and 10 for the endurance and 2 for the proficiency guys and trust me guys this is very balanced for all around players as well for the unique skill tree i'm using the first one increasing stun duration and the second one restore stamina and the third one quicker recharge if you guys remember in the beginning of my video i was very in hard situation and i was using it my unique skill and I restored my stamina and that was saved my life as well. Generally I'm using my unique skill to let a face so if you guys like the content and video just make sure you like the video and be sub. Also if you guys wanna check other builds like Johnny and CC the link will be on the description part. If you guys want to join Discord, it will be on the description part as well. Thanks for watching.